what meditation can give you. What is meditation? First of all, it's it can be the woo-woo thing that everyone thinks it is in terms of shutting your eyes and making om sounds and whatever. It can be um, using headspace. It can be just shutting and being quiet and counting your breaths. It can be actually whatever you want it to be. Meditation, um, for me, is about reflection. It's about, it's a tool. I use meditation as a tool to quieten the mind, to allow me to process everything that is going on because we're all so busy nowadays um, doing this, that and the other. We're all so busy with so many things going on in our head all the time and it's exhausting. It's exhausting to be on it all the time. So a tool like meditation can be used to give you a few things. It gives you that time out, that switch off, that time to yourself. Like a lot of people see meditation as something quite selfish because you've got the mom or dad guilt in terms of the kids are in the other room or there are 101 other things that you're meant to be prioritizing and doing right now. However, I think it's something that is selfless and I think it's something that is vital, not necessarily the meditation, but the taking the time out to look after yourself. I think that is vital, okay? And some people use meditation to do that, to give them that time out, that switch off, okay? Meditation can be about, you know, turn the lights down low, unplugging yourself from this digital world that we're bombarded with every single day. Um, you know, the, the zombie life of constantly looking at phones or looking at screens and like we did and still can live a life without these things, okay? Um, so many people um, are doing things like digital detoxes and stuff right now. That in itself is a form of meditation, like in terms of unplugging and stepping away, leaving the phone at home and going for a meditation in terms of just going for a walk, meditation in terms of lying down and, you know, just thinking whatever you want to think about. But for me personally, it's got to be quiet. It's got to be in a relaxed environment. Maybe there's some music involved. Um, for me, like I really enjoy being near or hearing water. So my meditation can be water based in terms of, I know something like lying on a lilo in the sea or in a swimming pool or sitting on the beach listening to the roar of the sea or whatever it is. But what meditation can give you, I think, is quite powerful. Yes, it gives you that switch off, but it also teaches you and widens the gap between when something happens and then what happens afterwards. Let me explain. Something happens, some kind of event happens, and before meditation, before you learn the skills that it gives you, before meditation, what tends to happen after it? an event that happens is there's a reaction, okay? An event happens and there's a reaction from you. Be it like, I don't know, um, you're in the supermarket trying to do the one-way system um, around the supermarket and um, without you realizing it, out of the blue, you get ram raided in the ankles by some person with a trolley or something, right? Without meditation and the skills that you learn from meditation, your initial reaction is to just completely lose your shit with this person, okay? And you don't even realize you're doing it. It just happens and then afterwards you're like scratching your head and wondering where that came from. With meditation, what I find meditation can give you is 
that gap, it widens the gap, it gives you that separation, it gives you time to think, it gives you back control, more control, it gives you self-awareness to look at the event that happens, actually decide for yourself what is the best response that you would like to give and then you respond rather than react and the more you meditate the wider that gap gets in terms of between the event happening and your chosen response so you always have the two choices reaction over response and meditation strengthens your response muscle is the best way of describing it it's like it grows like any other muscle the more that you work it the more that you feed it and one way of feeding it is meditation so if you've never tried meditation find find a way to do it allow yourself give yourself permission i know that so many people watching this video will be like it's not worked for me or i'm different or you know it's too woo woo or whatever like it doesn't have to be woo woo it can be as woo woo as you want it to be the important thing is you find your own version of meditation that works for you like i said it could be as simple as sticking music in and going for a walk to get some fresh air it could be that meditation that I get when I'm in water, like literally swimming underneath the um, top of the water. It could be anything, but it's important to find your way of meditation that works for you, that ultimately gives you that, gives you that peace, it gives you that awareness, it gives you another tool to draw from, to work with, when it comes to the way you live your daily life because it's looking after yourself it's looking after your mental health your mindset um, and with an improved mindset with a more aware and self self-centered mindset you're basically loving yourself more and you're showing yourself respect you're building self-esteem which then has a massive knock-on effect with everything else in your life so one do you meditate? Two, what kind of meditation would work for you? And three, when are you going to start?